50 out of our practical. So today, we're doing an upgrade to that all Miatas deserve deep down. A roll bar. That's a box. Do you know how to install a roll bar? I have watched videos, but first step is getting it out of here. Good luck with that. Oh, you brought beer. Chrissy bought beer. This is the SMC drawer. Oh, yeah. Have we revealed what's going to go in here yet? I don't think we have, but I mean, there's only really a couple things that can be installed in a garage, so I feel like people could piece that together. So I've been dealing with a pretty massive migraine the past few days, so I'm going to be pretty useless today. That's okay. You just have a break every now and then. Matt, just rip it. Just yank it. Just yank it. Just rip it. Ta-da. This is a hard bar from Roll Bar. Dog. Hey Chris, what you doing? I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. So there's just bolts in? Um, bolts bolts in some places, and then you have to drill some holes, and then you bolt into that. Did it come with bolts? I certainly hope so, because that would defeat the purpose. I thought we were having a knife. Really useful. You don't want to scratch it. Especially because the box said specifically don't use a blade. But look at my shift knob. Did you do it? Yeah. You like that? Now sit on it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Put long drill bits in that um, yeah. file. Yeah. Okay. Because I'll also regular drill this. All right, because what we're gonna do is we're going to, from the top, we're gonna take the foot long ones, punch a little hole through, and then go from the bottom so it's a lot easier. You got that? Do I got that? Yeah. I don't know. Do you need any pipe wrenches? You know, I don't think so, but it's good to know that we have one. You put that aside, I'm gonna need that. We had to take out of my car, and we had to bypass it. It's just a spring that's encased in ceramic that kicks on. Oh. You know, I was just gonna ask, how long do you think until we gotta take Matt to the hospital because he stabbed himself with that razor blade? This goes on top padding. of here, yeah, padding, and then this goes around it. Do we have to take the soft top off? No. Ah, sweet. We gotta take the seats out, we gotta take the carpeting out, and we gotta take the parcel shelf. All right, let's take the seats out. Seat so we need a, a, a 12, 14 mil socket, something like that. I'm allergic to the sun, I'm sorry. Matt, we're gonna snap all of these clips. Are you sure about that? They always snap. Oh, you got a clip sure thing? Ah, oh, lit. These, the, like this, these plastic trim pieces, we have to like cut them so the bar fits around it. Oh. But um, if you got vacuum line, you can like finish it off real nice. Oh, you just put like a little, you just split it and then it makes yeah, it like exactly. leather seal. Chris, you're tightening it. Oh, am I? Yeah. No, just just fucking wrench it. Just wrench. torch it. Just you have an impact gun, right? I mean, we can use my dad's impact gun if I need to. I'll take it if I need. I got to. it. This is how we trick you? Steve into doing everything. Yeah, even is this how this always ends up? You guys are just like, oh, I'm not strong enough, Steve. You try. No, not really. Let's get the power tools. Make it easy so we don't all get sunburned out here. In the meantime, I'll get all of this done. Even when Steve says, I don't want to do anything because I have a migraine, he sees Miata and he's like, I have to. I'm like, I don't want to sit here in the sun all day. My shoes do not have enough grip. What? what size is the socket? 14. 14. Basically everything's a 10, a 12, or a 14, or the occasional 17. The occasional 17, yeah. usually on suspension parts. Yeah. One. One. Oh, here's an earring. You want that? Ah, here we go. I believe the term for this is called automotive archaeology. Totally not stolen from Mighty Car Mods. That's oh, did, was it? Yeah. You can't steal jokes, man. As soon as I break this other one loose, Chris is going to walk out with the impact. Oh, of course. You know it. Two. Two. Ding. Ding. We need seats. 
can't even see over the window. Right. I can see over the window. Come on, dude. I'm trying to get this done. We got to take these out, um, seat belts, this off, and then um, get these, uh, get the rugs out. And then there's a parser shelf I got to take out, too. So. That and... Where'd you put all the, the nuts and everything? Uh, they're in the seats. Because they go to the seats. How did these come out? Did these little clips fry up right here? Cool. Well then. Interesting. Hmm, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I'm not... <sighs> Moving the whole car. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Oh, mine just came right out, so... Where the stripping comes off? Yeah. You did it. You. Matt, you look like you know what you're doing in this episode. I'm gonna hurt myself in here. So where does the roll bar actually sit so back here? So, the roll bar sits on each side in three places. All right, so the first is where this came out. There's another spacer. It bolts in up here on both sides. Then, it goes down here in the, like behind the seat and you drill into the body right here which is also why we have to take the wheel the rear, uh, rear wheels off so we can get to it then it goes somewhere like right here or something like I think it's like right here and it goes down to there Seats are out. Uh, this part of the rug's out. Seat belts are out. Now, this is the part where we like have to pick this up. Well, now I can't work. Looking at this, all the clips are missing. But that's okay. Yeah, no, that's not surprising. Just break it. You can buy more clips. I right, could cool, if I need to. It's like a dollar for 300 of them. Oh, you have the rails already? Yeah. Extra sure bottle. Just bolted it in. Yeah. Oh, well, There's a bunch of 10 mils that go on the shelf. We gotta take this out. And then next is doing a quick test fit. It's, and that's not going to fit, but we gotta know where to cut because right around here, we have to kind of cut that and pull it out on both sides. And then uh, later on this shelf, we have to also cut holes around the same area so it fits properly. See, can you grab me a pair of pliers? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? They're little squeezy boys. Why are they so small? I forget if the next step is to test fit. Test fit. Test fit. Yeah, it's probably test fit. Test fit. Test fit. People get this in without taking the top off. I mean, I'm all for it, I just don't know how. I think I have to cut this uh -huh. to make it fit, but this slides back into here. Okay. Was the test fit a success? I mean, it looked like it. Uh, yeah, we gotta, now we actually know where it's going. We gotta put the hood back, or the, the roof back up, and we have to cut this metal. It looks very hard to do. This is. It's getting there though, it's cutting. Is it? Yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't think a Dremel will throw that many sparks. You wanna go hook up the Dremel then? Help him with this, test with this. Just cause like you're significantly smaller than I am. I am small. small. Yeah, and like you can like bend easier. We got it in, um, we had to just finagle some of the wiring harnesses around, which is fine, that's pretty normal. In fact, that's absolutely normal for doing this. Um, so, first step is when we have to uh, bolt it to where the seat belts go. So 
Yeah, I might need your small hands for this. Why is there always so much time? Because you hands? do have uh -huh. them. Not that small. We it's have like, video evidence of you being able to do stuff in my engine bay that I couldn't like do. They're like the same size. It's just your fingers are not as fat. Oh, we got giant fat sausage fingers? Yeah. Okay. That goes here? Yeah. <laughs> no, it goes in here. Uh, oh, it goes in here. Yeah. I don't think you can finagle it. I think we gotta slide this forward. Yeah. There you go. Now you're, now you're getting somewhere. We have new hardware. Well, also, diggity dog. Yeah, this is threaded in the body. Hmm. Hardware? Thank you. But Spanner, do it, do the fit. I can't see where I'm looking, so. It's alright, just feel it. I can't see what I'm doing, so. Because it looks like you need that spacer. Just let me see it, see if it'll fit. Like yeah, in the between bar. the body and the, the seatbelt bracket. Tires that I get for my wheels, they're Yokohama S Drive 205 I think it is, or 205 35. So I ordered the one tire like a year ago, and then I needed another one. And when they called up to order, they're like, Is this for that old BMW? Like, I'm literally the only one who gets these things. <laughs> got the seatbelt back in. Uh, we got that these bolt down these, there. These bolts. This one still has a little further to go. And then once these are tight, we can then start uh, drilling the bottom ones. But then, but we gotta jack the car first. Jack, come on. Come on. Hey, That's car surfing. <laughs> All right, stop. <laughs> you gotta chalk the wheels. Yeah. If we lower it while that's there, your mud flap will come off. You did it. That's a nice wheel. Which way does it have to drill and does it matter? Forward. Man, you want me to just go in? Please don't. Alright, can we drill it? Drill it. Drill it. Twist it. Bop it. Pull it. Drill it. There you go. That, that went through it, for right, well, sure. There's a hole. It goes in. I hope I drilled this straight. That worries me. I mean, it's not really a... Uh, it's, I'm not running into it, so it's, it's fine. Well, you can see it pretty good, actually. A little dark, but... Yeah, shove them in. Just hammer it. There you go. The, the nut will cinch it up. Give me a nut. So that's being held in place now by at least one of them. We're putting these on this? Oh, you got a Loctite item? Yeah. Do you want to just put them in a, a little dab in the nut then? Sure. Dab on the nut. You heard it from Steve first. Yeah. They have, like, the end is crimped in a little bit. So as you tighten through that... You're bleeding. No, that's just Loctite. Loctite. Permanent. Ooh. All right, what's the next thing we have to do? <laughs> Let's not waste battery, okay? All right. <laughs> so what we're doing right now is we got the these front ones in, but now it's the hard ones. It's center punching from the top and then drilling from the bottom to drill the holes for the back of the roll bar. Well, you just center punch from the top so we can see where to drill from the bottom, and then we have to center punch from the bottom because it's bolted out on the bottom, so it bolts back up, and then we can drill through it. Exactly. Uh, stop. <laughs> doesn't matter because your fucking head's in the way. You fucking suck. I can't see what I'm doing now. You made me move my head. So, is the roll bar fully installed now? The roll bar itself is 100% installed. I'm gonna go shake it. Look, it's installed! Huh? 
Yeah, you were in the shop. Have you tried hitting it with a hammer? Just cut it with an angle grinder. We did it. I can't hear. I know, I can see that. I can't hear anything. Yes. Cut it, Matt. Snip it. Snip it off. Snip it off. Oh, oh, oh. Snip it off. Oh, oh my god. Get the angle grinder. Get the angle grinder. Yeah, I was going to cut it off with the angle grinder. <laughs> so the reason we had to do that was this won't fit back in unless we do that. I see. And now it clears. Now it clears it. Hose. What? Couldn't you just lift that off entirely? Probably. So of course, what, what are we dealing with over here right now while Matt's doing that? We're waiting that? for our, our pizza. Our bleeping pizza. <laughs> it's been... Almost an hour. Crazy stuff. Oh, that's our pizza. You want to go get it? Is this the garlic bread that you got? My favorite nourishment is malnourishment. <laughs> Does it just screw in until it stops? Basically. I have no idea. Or just do it. Just, just put it in. I'm gonna just fucking put it in and see what happens. Alright, so before we put all this other shit back in, I feel like we should probably test our work and go roll it over to see if the roll bar works. I, I don't disagree. Right? So let's go. Let's go do it. Alright. It's kind of dark. We got delayed with food. Mostly mostly food. But we put the roll bar in, put everything in. The harnesses are back connected. The um, carpet. The carpet's back in. The seats are back in. The seat belts are in. Got some more stuff for later, but looks like about it for tonight. 